Decisions, decisions, and what I'm deciding changes within less than a moment's time. Go ahead and speak on something that has been kind of, you know, bothering me. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen my booty, but I believe that my booty is small compared to my awesome cleavage. I think that my booty is small. And then when you look at, you know, people out right now, like um, Nicki Minaj and all those people they have really big booties and so you know as a young female in america we always try to kind of try and look our best by any means so for a while i was thinking like i'm being 100 percent honest with you guys i was really thinking hey you know what might be awesome if i get some booty shots you know some butt injections and so then I never thought anything was bad about it because I was like, well, surgeries is surgeries. People get surgeries all the time to enhance themselves. It's whatever, whatever. So I get on the web like most people my age, whenever they want to find something out, they get on the web and they Google search it or whatever search they do. So I do some searching, right? And I see all these things pop up about them about you know butt injections ass shots whatever you want to call them so i look i click i'm doing all this looking and seeing what they're made of and seeing how healthy they are and a million things pop up of people dying from these ass shots like dying and so then i think okay <laughs> i can live with a little booty if i gotta die to have a big one fuck it you know I'll just have a little booty for the rest of my life or I'll just do some squats or something, you know? Shoot. I'll just, like, you know, just walk with my back arched all the time. So then at least it looks like I have a big booty or something. Forget it. Big booties is not that important. If I'm going to lose my life, like, my weave ain't never tried to kill me. Okay, once it got caught on something and it kind of, like, snatched my head back, I guess I could have caught, like, whiplash or something. But... I mean, I could wear shorter weave or just my real hair, but my weave ain't never tried to kill me. And, like, my my boobs are 100% real. My push-up bra has never tried to strangle my throat or my bra clip that's on the back that kind of pulls them together. It's never done anything like pull a gun out on me or anything like that or, like, cut off my circulation to my heart or, you know. So... Do you know, as far as ass shots go, I guess I'm going to have a little booty for the rest of my life. Unless, of course, guys, the guy I'm with is in line about hitting it from the back and making my butt bigger. Because, <laughs> you know, guys always say that. They'd be like, well, if you mess with me, I'll make your butt bigger, girl. You know, it's I, it's never worked before. But like my measurements are 30, 24, 37 and I honestly only want to be, I wanted to be at 40 inches in my booty, but uh, my legs are skinny, so I really don't want to go past um, 38 inches. And I'm at 37, so, you know, I'm really not doing too bad, I think. It's whatever, but, you know, sometimes I'll be around my friends who have naturally bigger booties because this is the South and we are black women and most black women in the south have big booties so it's always been something i really wanted but uh after all this i've seen believe me booty injections are not and i repeat not worth your life like having a big butt ain't worth it and then i even saw pictures like i'm gonna post them i even saw pictures of them going wrong like Oh my God, stuff like that just scares me. Like I was just thinking, yeah, I want a bigger booty, but I don't want a hard booty. Like I want a shaky booty. Like I want my booty to be like, but you know what? It's not important because God made me the way I am minus a couple of extensions. But you know, I think even without extensions, see look like, like this picture right here is me without extensions. So just to let y'all know, I'm not bald headed. I can post a picture of me without 
extensions i just enjoy extensions and like i said my extensions ain't never try to kill me like they ain't never you know while i was sleeping poisoned my scalp so we still good with them you know my push-up bras y'all ain't going nowhere but as for booty injections yeah that's definitely a no-go because i can't lose my life and rest in peace to all those women who you know have i never like I know that us as girls all have self-esteem issues, not necessarily issues. And you might really like yourself. Like, like me, I really like when people meet me to imagine that I want butt shots always blows their mind. Like guys always be like, really? I never pegged you as anybody who would want to change anything about yourself. But you know, we're not the only person who, you know, ever looked at your body and said, Hey, I want to change something about it. I mean, obviously famous people change stuff about their bodies all the time. So they're not the best of role models. So look at like a firefighter. You've never heard of a firefighter getting past plastic surgery, huh? So maybe you should make them your role models. Ooh, ooh, or, or like a police woman. You never seen a police woman with fake titties. Have you? I haven't. You might. Well, you might've seen like somebody pretending to be a police officer with fake titties, but you never saw a real actual one that was like fighting the law and shit with one. So with that being said, Women, we just need to be more comfortable in our own bodies and blah, 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 blah. You know what our mom tells us because it really is like we're losing our lives over it, you know? And, hey, I don't know about you guys, but I was thinking this. It's kind of bad, though. This is what I was kind of thinking was if, if ass shots take out all my competition, then I'll be considered having a big booty, right? No? Well, anyways, the point is, I do want to be a female rapper. That is true. I also want to be a famous actress. I want to do it all. And I would love to be considered perfect in the eyes of America. But unfortunately, the eyes of America find a cartoon, a picture, a baby doll perfect. So it's hard for us to make our bodies that way because it's unrealistic. I mean, honestly, like half of these things that I grew up thinking were beautiful are really, really, really unrealistic. Like, have you ever seen a girl with a 20 inch waist and a 40 inch booty? Have you? I mean, my waist is 24 inches and I'm skinny. So, yeah, anybody that's really shaped like that probably has some surgeries. I'm not knocking anybody who has surgeries because obviously you ain't lost your life and it was your decision. But you know butt injections is illegal uh you know the little silicone injections or whatever is illegal and it's killing people so ladies if you don't got the money the five fifty thousand dollars five thousand dollars whatever to pay for the real stuff the real fat injected from your stomach I mean, took it from your stomach and injected in your booty just leave it alone because that other stuff is what they use to caulk your bathtub and your windows and shit so it's probably going to, you know, not be healthy. And, you know, what's the point of looking beautiful if you're not healthy? Hmm? There's no point to it at all. None whatsoever. So that being said, I hope you girls out there take a second to look in the mirror and say, hey, I'm beautiful just the way I am. And I don't really need anything but maybe a push-up bra because little lady Carter wears a push-up bra and maybe some weave. Okay, see? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>